preach you know in season to the bride it's not easy to preach to the bride of the lord jesus christ and you'll be wondering what exactly you are going to tell them because in the bible if you read there were eunuchs in the bible and they would go uh, in, a, in a in a moment of being castrated madonza imombe inorima ino ino bviswa zvose zvizenga zvinoita kuti ikwanise kuberekesa dzimwe mombe so a castrated keto is a cow that don't have the ability to give birth exactly right so that one it's not harmful skayo yena zvainoita when it's left amongst other female cows it's not harmful ikasiwa panzumba yena zvainokwanisa kuita because it cannot uh, uh, put seed ndikuti ikwanisa kusambeu uh, in the cows because it has been castrated. Amen. So those were the likes of the eunuchs in the Bible. Hallelujah. So if you read the Bible you hear of kings. And for you to become a eunuch in the house of the king. You were supposed to be a faithful eunuch. Because out of the queen would come out the prince the prince brother nyasha is here brother nyasha you can come and help me we need to be fast we need to be fast God bless you God bless you just forgive brother don't look at him just look 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 at his what, listen to what he was saying <laughs> so if you read your bible very well saka wakaverenga bible rako mushe mushe ah mudzimba dzemadzimambo you know in the uh, king's palaces machinda aichengetedza mambo kadzi you know the eunuchs that would take care of the queen vaisa vavarume vanozotora mbeu yavo wo isa mumamuna mambo kats the way people who were uh, devoid of their own seed saka vaichengetedzwa zvakanyanya so uh, they were so much kept uh, so well and they were supposed to be varume vakatendeka zvakanyanya and they were supposed to be faithful men kuitira kuti vasakwanisa pasa zvonekwa muchinda kana kuti mwana wa mambo ane kodzera yekuzotora humambo aine mbeu isiriyo so that uh, the upcoming king might not be coming from another uh, seed which is not of the king praise the lord amen praise the lord so uh, may we stand for the reading of the word we are going to read from the book of joshua uh, chapter 10 chapter 10 uh, on verse 7 joshua chapter 10 joshua 10 on verse 7 verse 7 If we are there then we are going to read Kana tashika ipapoti chaverenga And the Lord said unto Joshua Zino ishi wakati una Joshua Fear them not Musavachka for I have delivered them into thine hand Nekuti ndavaisa muruoko rwenyu they shall not a man of them stand before thee Hakuna kana umwe cheti wavo unga gona kuzomirisana nemi Amen Amen We are going to read again uh from the book of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 8 Chaverenga zvakare kuna 1 Corinthians 8 chapter 5 verse 8 Okay 1 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 8 Praise the Lord Mwari varu bizwi Chapter 5 verse 8 Chapter 5 verse 8 The Bible said says Bible is not Therefore Let us keep the feast. mutambo. Not with old leaf. Tisina mbiriso yakare. Praise the Lord. Amen. Neither with the leaven of malice. Kana kuva ne mbiriso yenduru. And wickedness. Nokusarurama. But with the unleavened bread. Asine chingwa chisina mbiriso of sincerity praise the lord 
Uh, we may take our seats. Tinga gare du pass. Tinsinzi yeme swe du tina mat. Shall we close our eyes and pray? Baba wedu ano shamisa walikoku msoro kudenga. Our gracious, wonderful Lord Jesus in heaven. Tuko kutenda hii made kwa nani? We appreciate you tonight. Maita yenu, makwanza kutunza mutenda lino le kusangana. Thank you for bringing us into this camp. Matino ya kuzojika kubva pata frayeni. We we dine upon your table. Hakuna mmuno anesimba mwaro wangu le kwanza kumirira mwe mmuno. No one is worthy to stand for another man. Zunongotora imimoga tenzi Jesu Kristo. It only takes you only alone Lord Jesus. Jimi makaba chipiriso chakakwana. You were uh, the uh, uh, enough sacrifice. Makaiswa pamchinjikwa. And you were hanged upon the cross. Makadeura ruparenyu. Shed your blood. Mchibadara mbadara mkuru. Paying the great price. Wamai badari raisu. That you were paying for us. Wano wakanga wale watazi. People who were sinners. Apana chaka naka chaka nga chiri matiri. There was nothing good that was in us. Asitoku kutenda isha Jesu Christo. But we would like to appreciate you Lord Jesus. Kutimaka kwa nisa kutimiririra. That you were able to represent us. Pata kanga tisinga kodzere kumiririra. Where we were not supposed to be represented. Kutimaka kutenda ima dekwa nani. We thank you tonight. Maita ino kutunganza ni mtuwa wakadai. Thank you for gathering us in such a fashion. Gathering up in your absence, it doesn't help us. Preaching in your absence is done in vain. We invite you, Lord Jesus, tonight. May you descend and meet with us and add more faith to our hearts so that we may be able to live according to your word and bring our sincere faith for us to see your manifestation every day. We are living in perilous times where we cannot walk without your hand. Help us tonight, Lord Jesus. Only one word from you is worth the all more than all the words of men. We give you this opportunity now as we bind every spirit under our feet committing everything in the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Uh, once again I greet you all. Uh, we have read from the book of Joshua and the Lord was telling Joshua no man who stand before thee for I shall be with you. Praise the Lord. And if you remember very well Joshua was the man when he was fighting when he was fighting against the Amorites he saw that time was not on his side. And he had uh, to speak to the son. And when he spoke to the son, the son stood still. And the Bible says, that was one time which, was, which never happened before. That God himself hearkened unto the voice of a man. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. But if you study the Bible very well, you find out that Joshua, for him to become so more sincere, he was with Moses. And uh, they had uh, traveled from the land of Egypt uh, because Moses was a prophet. If you read your Bible very well, God said I will not do anything upon this earth but he said uh, he revealed the secrets to his servants the prophets so when a prophet comes on the land he is the voice of God he speaks for God so it's our duty to have faith in the words of the prophet. So when Moses came to Egypt, he took them out 
uh, with a mighty hand great miracles were performed in Egypt and Joshua was also there Joshua Joshua was a faithful witness so he, uh, when they were taken out of Egypt you know uh, and uh, went through the wilderness you know the Bible uh, says in the book of Exodus chapter 12 chapter 12 uh, the Bible says Bible and a mixed multitude went out together with them so the them part were the chosen ones but the, 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 the rest they followed Moses because there was something great which was attracting them so the, the message of Moses was in three categories there was the first uh, it was in three phases that's what brother Branham says the, uh, the message of Moses he had the first pool uh, which was uh, 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 pulling almost everyone to hearken unto the voice of God. And there was also the second pool which happened in the wilderness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And uh, those who were in the wilderness they also had the privilege of witnessing the pillar of fire during the night and also witnessing the pillar of cloud during the day. Let me tell you brother Sister, even the unbeliever he had to see the pillar of fire even the make believer he had to see the pillar of fire even the believer would also see the same pillar of fire so there is no mystery on seeing the pillar of fire there is no mystery on seeing the pillar of crown because they that perished in the wilderness they could stand and tell Moses that we cannot do it this way because the pillar of fire is with us praise the Lord hallelujah, hallelujah. it was in three stages so what's my message tonight my message is sincerity is the key ingredient to the power that binds the mamba. Praise the Lord. Amen. Sincerity is the key ingredient to the power that binds the mamba. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you remember very well, when we read the Bible, uh, in the, uh, the, book, uh, the first Corinthians, uh, chapter 5, verse Ch 8, chapter five, verse the eight. Bible said, Therefore, let us keep the feast. So it's an encouragement to the believer. We must keep this feast. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not with old living. Praise the Lord. Because Egypt it was a type of the world and when they were called out of Egypt the Bible said if you read the book of Exodus chapter 12 just before 23 when I, when I read uh, chapter 12, before, before verse, 22, uh, verse 22 it says uh, they came out with unleavened bread when they were coming out of Egypt they came out with an unleavened bread Hallelujah. Amen. Because their bread was not supposed to be living. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And the unleavened bread is Christ. So the unleavened bread was representing Christ. Christ undefiled. Christ who was clean. So when they were coming out of Egypt, it was not just a, a, a mass. Praise the Lord. Amen. But they were supposed to do it in sincerity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The reason why when they were applying blood they to use bitter herbs and those bitter herbs was an ingredient for sincerity. Hallelujah. Amen. When they were applying blood 
They were given bitter herbs. And it was a sign, it was an ingredient for sincerity. Brother, sister, when we came out of the world, we, must, we were supposed to take this tape of sincerity. We were supposed to come out to come out of the world with unleavened bread. Praise the Lord. Amen. The reason why is very important when you come to the message of the hour. You must be uh, someone who takes an introspection. Brother, we came differently. Because we are responding to a call. Because when we are responding to a call, you must know who has called you. And you must know the nature of the man who is calling you. If you are invited by the president of Zimbabwe, there is a way in which you must dress. There is an, an approach that you are taught. For so you to enter the presence of the president of Zimbabwe. Praise the Lord. So uh, when we came out of the world. You know it's, it's, I'm, I'm saying this because I think it's important. I, I might not have enough time to, explain, to express it all. But please, hearken unto my words. It is very important for you when you came out of the world you must check who you were and who you are now. Because what you were is the, is the same thing that caused you to run for your life. And you came in the presence of the Almighty God. So you must be sincere, brother. When you are coming out of the world For you to enjoy You must keep this feast unleavened For you to enjoy the mercies of God You must keep this feast You must keep the message clean You must fight You must strive You must keep it clean For it to work for you Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Because yourself, you are a temple. You are a temple on your own. And the Bible says, Know you not that your body is a temple of the Lord. And in that temple, there is, there is a throne. Because Brother Branham said, You know, God in heaven had his throne in, in heaven above. And he chose to come and manifest that throne in the hall of holies. The reason why Moses, when he was building the tabernacle, he had to build it in three categories. He had to build in three categories. There was the outer court. And in the outer court, people would lie. People would say anything. If you read your Bible, there was no harm. If they would come in the holy place, you know, they would, they would uh, take an introspection because that holy place they had to bring their sacrifice. And, and there was the brazen altar there. And brazen, like the pastor always says, is sin represents is sin already judged. So, Brother Branham preached a message identification. And he said, a person who entered the holy place, he would be uh, sincere to be identified with his his sacrifice. So when he entered the holy, the holy place, he would be sincere you know, uh, taking his, uh, his, uh, his sacrifice, uh, giving it to the priest, and the priest would make sure the sacrifice is killed. And the person would be identified with his sacrifice through and through. And there was the holiest, place, which is called the Holy of Holies. And in this Holy of Holies, 
Jimbo chene chene i. Brother Branham says. Brother Branham Manot. The high priest. Presita Mkuru. Would enter into this holy, holy, holy of holies. I pita Jimbo chene chene i. Once. Kangwe chete. Eye. Pagore. Carrying the sins of the people. Aka takura. Zizi van. And this priest. Presita uji. There was a certain way. He would be dressed. There was a certain way. He would walk. There was a certain way. He would approach the throne. Because that was not the throne of a man. That was the throne of God. Brother Branham says. Brother Branham this priest. Would have the privilege. Of enjoying the Shekinah glory. One man. Entering the Holy of Holies, you will have the opportunity to have the privilege of enjoying the Holy of Holies. One man. Then Brother Branham says, Brother Branham later on, that throne, it came down. It entered a body and it started to walk on two feet. That is my Christ. That's Jesus Christ. He was now the full throne of mercy. And when he came, they couldn't receive him. Yet the throne was it. In Christ. The reason why. You find when he was put on the cross. When he was hanging there. When he cried out. The veil of the temple. Was broken. From top to bottom. Into two. And uh, that messy city became a plain view. As Brother Branham said. That messy city. Was hanging there on the cross. Praise the Lord. Amen. And now, people are looking for that mercy city. Because the temple is no longer there. Even the temple of Solomon, which when it was dedicated, it had three phases as well. The outer court, the holy place and the holy of holies brother when it was dedicated when it was dedicated you know the holy the, the holy ghost came down the Shekinah glory came down and the ministers failed to minister because why the temple was constructed in such a way and it was also dedicated in such a way that God had to come down and become a part of them he had to come down and he is the one to be worshipped so when worship began the Shekinah glory of God came down and filled the whole temple and what am I saying that's the same with you when you came out of the world when the preacher preached you know when the, when the gospel pricked your heart it was, it was uh, hitting on sin like no man's business hallelujah Amen. it was hitting on sin Jesus Christ for the remissions of sins. And what happened, brother? If I you despise 
It was made into three. You have got your body. This natural one. And you have got the spirit. And you have got the soul. And brother Branham said. Brother Branham In that soul. God. By his grace. He chose that heart. To be his dwelling place. But the devil. By also his choice. He chose the head. Your mind. Because it's your mind. That will never be satisfied. And when that mind is not satisfied. You know in that mind. The prophet preached the message that. Uh, greatest battle ever fought. And he said it's fought in the mind. When, when, when the, be, be, the, the devil wins you in the mind. Then he throws it to the heart. And it becomes a desire burning in you. And you now have the lust of the flesh. Hallelujah. The reason why if you read the, 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 the word. Uh, if it's written word and world. The difference is just L, which is the last of the flesh. If you remove L, it's word, word. So it's the last of the flesh that takes you away from the word. Hallelujah, the last of the flesh. It takes you away from sincerity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, uh, remember my message. It's sincerity. The key ingredient to the power that binds the mamba. So I'll be reading and we'll be uh, opening uh, quotations and scriptures. Just to support this. So the brother Branham talks about the priest. Because remember you are also a priest. We are priests and kings. Hallelujah. Amen. We remember brother. Brother Branham said. Brother Branham every character in the Bible. Knows about one who follows the Bible. Knows about one who follows People they enjoy when they really read about it. When they read of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. Think of it brother. The way you feel when you read about Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. But let me take you on a higher level a little bit. The entire Bible must be the bride. The entire Bible must be the bride. So who is Abraham? Abraham and He's just like a shadow. Maybe a finger. Uh, on the body of the bride. Who is Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Maybe the fingers. In the heart of the bride. So you must do exploits. You cannot just rest. On what Abraham did. Uh, on what Noah did. Oh, so you are the entire Bible. So you are the fullness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. the Bible said. But in the days of the voice. Of the seventh angel. When he shall begin to sound. The mystery of God. Should be finished. As he had declared. To his servants the prophets. So the prophets desired. To live in this day. Why were they desiring? Because they were just a part. They were just a figure. They were just a small portion. Compared to the bride of the 
the bride is the entire Bible being revealed. So when the prophet came, he was revealing. Revealing who? I want to preach. Do not bury Just give me time. Then when the prophet came, prophet he came to reveal. So when there is a revelation, all right. I feel checked. Have you ever gone where they put a tombstone? Yeah, Have you ever went there? Normally you find it covered. Because it will be carrying a mystery. Hallelujah. Amen. So the mystery will be inside. The cover. So when you approach that tomb, there's a man who takes you there. And he knows what's behind the veil. So when you are all standing and guessing Wondering uh, Trying to presume You know this man will never reveal the mystery Because Murugu it is But when, when the right time comes The right season comes The man will call you out Come you all gather I must reveal the mystery behind the veil So when he opens He is revealing What's inside So when brother Branham came And he was revealing What was he revealing He was revealing what was inside So who was inside Because when John the Baptist came Remember he was revealing also A man who was walking amongst them A man who was eating with them A man who was a simple figure but yet he was the man He was the one Fulfilling Isaiah A vision has conceived A vision shall conceive And now there was a man amongst them Failure to recognize him It was not a problem to God But they needed a man John, To reveal A mystery Which was with them Brother, if you read the masterpiece, this man was the restored Adam. He was the second Adam. So John, John's duty was to A man who could speak to the to the to nature. A man who could give a man who was blind, born blind eyes. A man who could descend. A man who could descend. Until the Bible says, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Him. E, knowing all the hearts of men Jesus Christ Jesus Christ Knowing the, all the hearts of men So he knew what was in their hearts But yet he was a simple man And John, John Had a great commission To reveal who kusarura. The great man The man who would remove Who would take away all the sins of the world And he said Behold Tarira. <laughs> Amen. That was John. I was John. He said, Behold. The Lamb of God that taketh away all the sins of the world. It was as if John was dreaming. It was as if he was made. But John was not made. For sure that was the man. He was despised. He was bruised. Chastised. For own sake. Though the world never received him. But a few received him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And what about this William Branham? William Branham. Because he's also coming. Like John. Sajoan. Like John the Baptist. Sajoan Baptist. William Branham is coming. Perhaps you have never heard of.
of him. Let me introduce you to a man. As in read the Bible. In the book of John chapter 1. The Bible said. There was a man sent from God. And his name was John. John. He came with a lighter. Though he was not the light. Hallelujah. Amen. But he came to introduce the great light to men. Hallelujah. Amen. So when John came, Joanna he was a man with a responsibility. He was a man knowing who he was. So he came to introduce Christ to the world. And until Christ said, For all men are born of woman, there was no one greater than John. Why, brother? Because he was introducing the word. And there is also a man in this time who came like John the Baptist he he had a message a message to the bride a message to the bride of the living God so when he came he was to introduce the bride to the world that's why he came brother so the bride is restored if and So John the Baptist, when he came, he was introducing that he restored Adam Adam to the world. The reason why he said, I must decrease and he must increase. That's where my message is tonight. I want you to understand who you are and what you have come to believe. This is the why William Branham when he came he had the first pool. He had the first pool. And he said it was an attraction. It was like a bait. He was pulling Oh, this is so. until like we read a mixed multitude was also attracted hallelujah Amen. and yet his second pool and the second pool it was discernment hallelujah, hallelujah. and the, the pastor had to bring that and in discernment you know there are people they don't want to be told the truth you know in public so in discernment you know people started to pull away because if you have got an unrepented sin when you come in the uh, prayer line white Brother Branham would look at you Brother Branham might and you would say, Sister, I can see you that day in a yellow car seated with a man. He is not your husband. Your husband was away. Far away. Because he is a soldier. And when Brother Branham starts that, Brother Branham people would fear. You know, you would hear if you hear the tapes. Ukaterera matep. Unozgo ba jinsi. Unozgo mna jira ko. Wakubana. Msa taora isu. Unozgo matepes. You listen to the tapes. Have you ever heard uh, such kind of things? Because I'd be reverent. And I was make it very reverent. Yato re make it zai. And when he begins to say these things, people would go. Hey. Wan wanda ri. Wakubana. Because it was touching their lives. So people started to, 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 to go out move away. You know, if you read the message, the present stage of my ministry, uh, no, now all men have forsaken me. And he said, when I came, you know, healing their, their people, you know, they you know, you know, loved me. And they all gathered around me. But now, I don't know. And just see. But he said, what? I think now is the moment for me to perform and do my commission. Because my commission is preach the word. So his commission 
was to preach the word. Hallelujah. Amen. The reason why I want to dwell much on the third pool. Because the third pool that was the ministry of William Branham. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because if you read the dream of uh, Brother Junior Jackson, he saw a mountain which, was, which looked like a pyramid. And he said uh, as they were climbing up, you know, as they were climbing up, they saw Brother Branham. He was uh, in front climbing up the mountain. He said, you know, he, he moved up the stages until he got to the top. And when he had to hit the top of the rock, with something that looked like a crowbar, you know, there was a white stone. And uh, Brother Branham said there was that white stone had never been hit by the sun before. And uh, Brother Branham had to reveal what was written on this. And up when he, re he opened, that's when he said to the ministers, look on this. So Brother Branham when he was going away He left the ministers on the third pool Because it was important He knew what was important So on this pyramid what was important was this rock The white rock was important The reason why he said Look on this As I go west Hallelujah And Brother Branham said When I, 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 I was uh, at home one day when he was preaching the message paradox let's read it are we together uh, sorry uh, we have new but this is the message of the hour you know, we have the message and we so much love this message we are so much attracted to this message. Praise the Lord. So uh, I want to read from the message uh, Paradox. Praise the Lord. So I don't know where to start, but let me start somewhere. And Brother Branham was talking of uh, uh, him going. Yet, 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 uh, Yet uh, he, he said, I thought I was dreaming. Said, but it broke into a vision. Praise the Lord. Listen. So, you, you, you know, in this message, he talks about the mamba. So, we want to, we want to uh, zero uh, on this one. Because that's where my message is coming out of. Praise the Lord. Brother Branham says. Brother Branham Manoti. Uh, on paragraph 63. Paragraph 63. And then, and then uh, he said as, as they, they, he was walking in a highway. With a brother. He just calls him a brother. And when I was reading, you know, you must put yourself there. He just said, brother, for you to put your name there. He said they were uh, walking in a highway. It was uh, a vision. And uh, he said we had uh, gone uh, two thirds of the journey towards the promised land. He said, and we were going to, uh, towards Jordan. And he says there was a, uh, a certain uh, 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 hideous thing uh, which was uh, uh, appearing. He says it was about 3 o'clock in the morning. I suppose I had gotten up and I looked way in front of me I was uh, coming down to Jordan looked like I was standing on the map of Palestine and I was coming down to the Jordan 
And it seemed like I could hear the song. I am going down to the shoulder. And someone was singing it. And as I drew near the river, I looked back and seen which uh, a way I had come. And I was two thirds of the way there to the Jordan. Jordan. And I looked across Jordan. I said, Oh, praise God. Just on the other side is all the promises lay. Every promise lays in the promised land. So he had uh, uh, gone. Uh, two thirds of the journey. Hallelujah. Let's say he had gone the first pool and the second pool. And he was, all, he, had, he was only left with one. Which was the third pool. Let's say he had gone the first pool and the second pool. He was only the third pool. And he was only left with one. And that one would take him into the promised land. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then I came to myself, I thought, could I have possibly have, could have been that I was dreaming? Because is, is it a nightmare? Because it's night time. See, a vision is something that you see with your eyes. Your eyes open. Just like a dream. You are looking right at it. And you are conscious. That you are standing like here on the platform. You are standing here but yet you look like you are in a dream. You know you can't explain it. There is no way to do it. See it's God's works. And God's ways are unexplainable. They have to be accepted by faith. So you can only accept the word by faith. Then as I sit there. A little bit. Aside of this chair. Then all of a sudden. Here it come back again. Then I knew then that it was a vision. And then when I come into the vision again. It seemed that I was lifted up and sitting on a highway. A narrow highway. With some brother. Uh, I never knew who the brother was. And I looked around. I said now I am sure. And I know this, this, is, this is vision. Amen. Amen. And, the, and the Lord God is here. And seemed like everybody was afraid. I said what's. What's everybody so afraid of? And a voice came and said, There is such danger in these days. Praise the Lord. I, I, I will explain the danger. By the grace of God. There there is such danger in these days. There is a great hideous thing that's death when it strikes you. And I heard the weeds mashing down. And I looked. And here come a huge monster. Snake crawling through the weeds. I thought. Now knowing this is vision. Then I shall see. Uh, what this animal or this beast is. And he calls it an animal or a beast. I will explain that. And he crawled up on the highway. And as soon as I got sight of him. It was a mamba. I knew it was a mamba. And this mamba had to come on the highway. So meaning this mamba was traveling with them. But it was a hidden thing. 
Zuchire wa kuti Roma mbira hii Yakato mwambi zana nao Ili mauswa isi nga one kwi But all the all, all, go After they had gone two thirds Asi mshiri mengunge wa famba Zukamu zuhiri Wamu tatu zuhiruendu You know just before Jordan Vasati vano shika mendeleke Then this, ma, this mamba had to, to, to surface Zino Roma mbira hii Yaka zira tiza I'm, I'm talking to the bride eh? Dikuta ora ni mwenga nae and brother Bra says, I knew it was a mamba. And he explains now, he, he starts to uh, uh, say more about the mamba. And he says, you know, it's a mamba. Uh, I believe you know about the mamba. Some they call it rasam tombo. You cannot be treated you know, when it starts. You know, 200, 200 buffaloes one time. Anzi no kwanza kura nyati 200 ka 100 kamwe chete iri imwe chete ka 1 it's a hideous and a dangerous snake inyo kaine njodz painongo rova so when it strikes zimwe dzese dzino tora time kusika ku blood stream ah you know the venom uh, uh, other venoms are they take time to get into the blood stream but the mamba but the venom of the mamba in a few seconds muma seconds mashoma shoma the poison will be directed to the blood chef yacho inenge azara muropa do you know why the blood munozi asei chi zara muropa because in the blood there is life nekuti muropa ndo mune upenyu so this mamba is a terrible snake sakaro ambira hi rasa mtombo hi so you must be very careful inyo kaya kai pangwarira because when it bites you nekuti kana ya kuruma there is no coming back au zoke you die forever you know fasa chose because it goes direct to the blood nekuti chefu ya ino no pinda muropa to the source of life ino no pinda pashitubuche upenyu so dangerous in enjoys we are going to look into it chatari sani zwa there is nothing as poison as a mamba hakuna chimwe chinu chine chef ino uraya kudarika mamba and the snake of course represents sin zino anyoka uh, hii zima zoro kwa zoro mirira chivi death rufu si maona and there is uh, we have we have in this country the retro snake and, and the likes zino mwenyika muno mutine zime nyoka zakafana nema retro snakes ne zime zwakadaro so i'm going to read uh, i'm going to jump and go to paragraph 63 zino ndi cha jamba zese zoro ndi na pa paragraph 63 and then comes the mamba Zino uh, roba mbira ino vaya uya He is death Zino rufu pachayo Just when he, he is so fast you can't see him Zino ino manya zakanyanya zekuti uno kuna kutaza kunya so yuona He goes over the top of the weeds Zino ndo kukwiza ina bambusurubi masora And he propels himself with the, the back of his tail Ino kwa nisa kuzi kwa kutsane muskwe wayo Just going whoosh Ichingo famba ne machibizi kwa saizo so yuona He hits you in the face Ino kwa kuruma kumesu So this mamba is a different snake Sakaya nyoka irova mbira yaka siyana ni zimwe It hits on the area of influence Ino rova pa naraunda eru nziru It hits the head Ino rova musoro chetu It knows fully well that a man without the head is dead Ino yato zima kuti munu Kana waka rova musoro wake Shapera shafara A man is a strong man Munu Munu haka simba Very strong Haka simba sterek But if the mamba hits him in the head Asika na roa mbira yaka muruma kumesu You'll be surprised Unusha miswa yu A man with such big muscles Muruma anima masu In five minutes he's gone Ma minutes five anenga afa So no matter how big you are Zizi nene kuti waka kura sei pa mtu No matter how strong you are Kuti waka simba sei No matter how fit you say you are Kuti yono subu za simbi za kati If this mamba bites you Kana roa mbira yaka kuruma It goes to the head Inongo nanga kumusoro wako yu And the prophet said, We are living in the age of So the mamba is very wise. It doesn't hit you in the leg. Because it knows if you are if you are ferried, if you are rushed to the hospital. You know, you come back fit and you come fit. So it hits you in the head. You know what? Unozwe the largest uh, artery ah uh, tsinga humbe yemuiri wemunhu that carries the blood in a human body fambisa ropa rakawanda mumutumbi wemunhu is called Mr Iota inonzi Iota and that one iyoyo supplies blood to the head ndo inofambisa ropa kuenesa kumusoro no matter how hard your skull is zvisinene kuti dehenya rakwerira kasimba sesimbi say you me 
It needs more blood than the other than the rest. Musoro wako unaona kuti daropa rakawanda kudarika mumwe mutumbi weso. Do you know that? Unozvisaya. And the mamba is very wise. Zvino mamba yacho yakangwara. It knows where to hit. Inozvi yako yekuruma. So let's continue reading. And I believe I'm giving you sense. And not enda kuti zviri kujeka. So it's when it hits you in the face usually it stands up high and it strikes hard and when he hits you you just got a few breaths, uh, breaths till you are finished it doesn't only paralyze it gets in the bloodstream it gets in the nerves Everything you just die in a few seconds. Them native boys and track boys, if you say mamba, they will bat their heads together and scream. Because it's death. Just in a few seconds, see? When one hits you. And here he was. On the highway. I thought, well, this is it. So I looked at him. And he looked angry at me. And he licked his tongue. And here he came. But when he got right close to me, he would run up fast. And then it would get slower and slower. And just quiver and stop. And something would hold him off. So brother Branham was not just an ordinary man. The reason why he's saying something would hold him off. And I believe, brother, you need that something. And you need that something. Sister, you need that something. I don't know how I might tell you, tell you this. But in this life, in this journey in this time that we are living we, you need that thing you know and then something would hold him off he couldn't bite me and he would turn around on the other side try to approach from this side and he would get back and get a start and switch right towards me get slower and slower and then to a stop and then he would shake like that and move back he couldn't strike me then he turned and looked at my friend so I said put your name there you being the friend. But we have got an antidote for that. Then he turned and looked at my friend. And the way he went after my friend. And I seen my friend just jumping away in the air. And offer him and offer him. And over him trying and, he, uh, and the thing was striking at him. I, 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 I thought, oh, if it ever hits him, it will be instant death. No wonder everybody is so scared. Because when this thing hits you, it's an instant death. What offer? So you see this mamba. It was coming when they were just two thirds. Well, they had gone two thirds of the journey. 
Hallelujah. Amen. I want you to check also in the life of Moses. When Moses had gone two thirds of the journey, if you read the book of Deuteronomy, Moses was supposed to go now. And he declared to the children of Israel that you must hearken unto my voice and follow all the statutes that I gave you for you to enter in and possess the land. But remember that's when the 12 spies were sent into the land. And when they came back with the report, they came back with fear. Fear. And remember, those who went in were not just small men. They were ministers. Because the, 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 the message that we have believed, you know, it was exactly uh, the same as the message that Moses had. So when Moses you know time to go was up. He had oh, he had to uh, uh, to, 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 to bid farewell to the children of Israel. And he introduced them to Joshua. And Joshua, brother Brown said he was a type of the Holy Ghost. So the Holy Ghost makes no mistakes. The Holy Ghost makes no mistakes. So Joshua, Joshua, if you read the book of Joshua chapter 12, he had to take the priests, men who were tried, to carry the ark. The ark, the ark was the representative of the word. So after Moses, Moses is gone, then came the priests to go before the children of Israel. Now they were carrying the Shekinah glory on their shoulder. And they were now crossing over. For you to watch, that was the stage, the second stage now of the third part of entering into the promised land. Alright, let me bring it home. The pastor was saying that third boo is in three-fourths. Right? Diesel. The first boo it was William Branham Iva William Branham opening the word. Shoko. Right? It was revealing the word. Right? Diesel. But the second part is done by the ministers carrying the same ark. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And making sure each and every child of Israel crosses over. And the Bible says they had to cross over in haste. And the ministers had to stand in Jordan. Brother Branham said Jordan meant death. So there was no minister who was supposed to stand in these waters without being tried. Every minister who was supposed to stand in the river Jordan, every priest was supposed to be tested. Because if you are not tested, you would die. Why so far? And that was the fivefold ministry. Which is the true fivefold ministry. They feared no evil. They feared no death. So they entered the river. Because they had tested the manna. But Abraham said. Every priest. Who would come. He would be taken into the Holy of Holies. To eat the manna. Which was in the golden pot. And this manna was pure. It was undefiled. So every minister. Who preaches the gospel. Must be tried. He must eat the manna. From the golden pot. And he walks out of the, the Holy of Holies. He was anointed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Like Aaron the priest. Aaron Prisita. He was anointed over. 
There is a now. Why now we have got problems now? Because the mamba is now on the highway. It's because of ministers. We have entered in. Not tried. Because they are supposed to eat from the golden pot. Brother, when you eat from the golden pot, when the moment you all walk out of the wall of holy, you will be walking holy, holy unto the most high God. Holy, holy unto the most high God. Because after an experience, you will be carrying life and live and bread. Mana. Mana. You know what? You know, mana. The reason why it was taken into the hall of holies. Brother Branham says, Brother Branham Manoti, Mana would fall. Mana, I don't know. And you know, the following day, you would find it rotten. Do you read your Bible? Mana would fall, you know, it was falling. Seven days. The first day it fell, it falls. The children of Israel would rush. It was rush hour. Rush hour. You know when the message came, it was rush hour. Rush hour to the message. But let me tell you, brother, sister, rush hour is good. But Joshua, as Joshua was more interested in the manna that was put in the golden pot until David the king. One day, the king Mambo. I had to enter and he partook of the manna. He so much desired. Mana, man, that was being eaten by the priests. Brother, don't you also desire? Mana, ah, uh, we mana, because it's only this mana that's undefiled. Because if you look at it, brother, negutu kashtar sama. Vose vaka uya vaka jga mana, vaka jga vamwe vacho vaka tanga kubudane une muno, vamwe vacho vaka tanga kuya vachiti. The rest of them that started just to eat of the manna, they were tired of it. The reason why we have a problem is that ten years of message. The brother spends ten years in the message, walking right, thinking the spoken word, reading the spoken word. He becomes an adulterer. That we actually don't talk about it. So that the they are committing adultery more than what the world is doing. The deacons are not talking about it. The problem is you are not partaking from the manna. Not just ordinary manna. But come into this hidden manna. Partake from the golden pot. But I assure you, you will never be the same. Brother, I am assuring you. You will never be the same. <laughs> because you know what? The reason why we are having problems is because we have got a mamba in the, in the highway. And remember, it's a narrow way. So, uh, this is not an issue of denomination. Message. This is a message because issue. Brother Branham is saying it's a narrow way. It was a highway, but it was a narrow way. So, brother, this brother was, was, was close to Brother Branham. But I'm sorry, he was not like Brother Branham. He was different from those three my gender warriors. They were, when they followed David, there was nothing good you could take you could take from David. One, he was a, he, uh, there was nothing good you could take from him. He, he was despised. Rejected. He had nothing. But these gender warriors. Very poor. 
Eileen Gates they followed David because in them they had a revelation of who David was they had realized that David was anointed correctly so no matter the downs no matter the ups they followed David and hallelujah so when they followed him there is so much desire to be like David each and every day they were desiring to be like him and you know what he would sit down and start to give them testimonies just like when you are reading the spoken word don't, don't rush and quickly go to the message before reading the testimonies it's them testimonies that makes you feel and desire to be like this man brother it's them testimonies brother there was a man called Joshua and Caleb brother Branham said if you read your bible they followed Moses. Moses. They never murmured. They followed him wholly. They were following each and every ordinance. When Moses says you must tithe up. Moses They would tithe up. When Moses says you must come rush rush hour to service. Moses For your quiet time. Ku quiet time. You know Joshua and Caleb will be there. Joshua and Caleb They had no reason not to come why? Ne. because them ordinances are important if you want to know that ordinances are important I take you to the book of Malachi chapter 3 because God said you children of Israel you have forsaken my ordinances and he said Ot. one of the ordinances is this one that you have become robbers says will a man rob God he says where do we rob him he says in tithes and offerings imagine it was just an ordinance but the spirit and the anointing of God had departed from them just because of failing to meet up with an ordinance and brother the moment you you, 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 you believe to these ordinances then you fail then you fail in your Christian journey. Because you know the ordinances are simple things. Very simple. You know tithing is just when you are given a dollar you give 10 cents. When you are given 10 you, you give dollar. You know it's a simple thing. But you know that simple thing stumbles a lot of brothers. Until they come here they want to be prayed for the pastor says what do you want to be prayed for he says we are hungry at home that scripture cannot be fulfilled by the pastor how many are together with me I'm preaching what I believe what I know and what I do that scripture is not fulfilled it's like a quiet time ordinance. It belongs to you. It's yours. It's you who performs it or not. And it's up to you. But when you go and cry and say hey, we are hungry. He just quotes the ordinances to you. Brother. It's very simple. Because the, the scripture says in Malachi, it seems it, there is an issue. Uh, let us just go and divert a little bit and go to the But adventure, there is a woman at the well. Praise the Lord. Why are you now taking me off from this issue of the mamba? Let's go to Malachi 3. As we are, you know, kind of haste. 
And about verse 7. Verse 7. Let's have you know uh, the, the projectile on the board so that Bible wrote, even from the days of your fathers. You are gone away from mine ordinances. Makasuduruka kuvapashigashangu. Are we together? And even from the days of your what? And the kuvamazwani. You have gone away from my what? Makasuduruka pane. She knows ordinance. She knows shagango pusa pusa. An ordinance is an easy thing. Ajaga pusa pusa. Very easy. Those are kujono kasa para tithes. Akuna no uchaga. If you don't pay your tithes, no one looks for you. Asimu arivan uzoto ya Europa. Asimu arivan wajidi mbava. Uno zoto Europa udro kara kuchukurubi. Ah, you know uh, a thief must be in the maximum prison. And they have not kept them. We are not going to change the situation. Brother, we are quite time. Brother, come over for quite time. Don't you know that uh, you know the rush hour for money happens around five. They are not hungry. They are home. That's why they are saying that. Brother, in that case, so good. I need to see it. I I was satisfied because I had done it. And they have not kept them. We are not going to go to change the situation. Return unto me. Zokai kwandi. God is saying return. You are being restored to them ordinances. And I will return unto you. Says the Lord. Those not our right. But you said, where in shall we return? Asini munoti. Tishi zoke piko. Ono zoka tango to ranyaye kwa time ka. Ya kuto nzikisuka na 15 kana 68. Wamweweza wano tichi zoka kupiko kwa time ye kwe. And you know if you talk about the issue of kwa time. Zaka to nzikisuka kwa time. Is understood by just a few. The rest of them will be saying. Wano to guzika kwa time. When should we return? They understand that I just mean. They agree. Ama zinu ya nana mkutaza. They actually fellowship in their era. Kuta yue. Nida kango pomba ka wani. I only became an adulterer only once. For wakati I die daily. Paolo anoti. Unofa mazwez. Unoko na kuta die daily. Waka fao za chose. You may die daily when you are a corpse already. And says the Lord of hosts. This was not how I showed. But you said. Where in shall we return? Asi waka imimu noti. Tichi zoke epi. Tichi zoke epi. Asi wafu nzo to zoka babi. They are asking when should we return. Anu vato nezira one ordinance. He drops in one ordinance. Ah, isa zese. Not all of them. Ah, no. Apa asku isa ime zese. He is not blessing all of them there. Anu nge isa one. Only one. Will a man rob God? Muno vafu nza mfu nzo moti. Muno anga gona kubira mwari heri. Yet you have robbed me. Asimi magandi bira. But you say we rain if we rob thee. Asimi muna funza wati taka kubira ipapi. Mishelu wapindo wati ntaisi and offering. And the Lord answers and says muzwe gumi nempiro. Wazona ten ordinance. You see? Brother kana muka na mata kukenda kukomu. Pana wamu andaka wana wakenda kukwarele. Wakana kasi ngede kukwarele kuru. But kana usi ngede ma ordinances. You are wasting your time and your clothes. Even if you go and pray and fast up the mountain, down the mountain, the valley etc. If you don't perform the ordinances, you are wasting your time. Four deacons have been called. The child is sick. The car is in an accident. Uh, the mother has got a tumor. They rush there. There is danger. Said we want to pray. Uh, you can pray. And they pray and pray. Lay hands. And the angel of the Lord will be saying, Are you crazy? He's paying for his sins, this guy. Uh, the, the, the angel of the Lord who say you are not spiritual. Why don't you ask him and say, Do you pay your tithe? Without wasting time uh, upon him. My case will not be removed from him. Is there anyone who understands this? Even if you don't believe it, I believe it anyhow. You are cursed with a curse. For you have robbed me. Even this whole nation. Rather for not paying tithes, you are cursed with a curse. Even if you have $10 in your pocket, it will, will push you over to do adultery. You see? Right. 
Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse. And it's not the storehouse of a man, it's the storehouse of God. That there may be meat in my house. And prove me. Uh, if you see God getting into a trial and saying, Do you love God? Prove me. He is actually swearing and saying, On this issue, he didn't want to send a man. Prove me. Prove me. Now here with uh, says the Lord of hosts if I will not open you the windows of heaven praise the Lord hallelujah and pour you out a blessing that there shall be not be room enough to receive it and I will rebuke the devourer for your sex and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground brother if you want the devourer to be stopped him. prove him otherwise otherwise you are going to stay in the house like a farmers uh, my pharmacist. You'll be wanting pharmacist in the house. A BP unau. You have got tablets a for BP. Sugar unau. You have got those for uh, diabetes. Uh, you know reactions all over. The whole year you'll be coughing. Your children are always sick. You are cursed with the case. Wakati kwa nchi tu go. And he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground. Prove this God, brethren. Prove this God. Prove him. Neither shall your vine cast your fruit before the time in the field. Have you ever seen uh, a mango It's not the season. Uh, with, uh, you know, mangoes, uh, you know, in June. It's not yet the but season. But God is saying in your field. Uh, you know, it doesn't bear fruit when it is not, uh, you know, the season. Why? Why? You have paid uh, the tithes and offering. Let's go back to where we were. Let's leave Samaria now. So, you know, paying tithes takes sincerity. That's how God measures you. If God gives you something, He measures you. Praise the Lord. Gospel is, seems to be resented whether you like it or not. This is our father's gospel. Abraham paid tithes. Abraham when he met Melchizedek, it was revealed to him that he, this man is the one who gave me all this possession. So what can be what can hold me from giving him seeing his heir of all things? Possessor of all things. Why do you fear when he is the one who has given you? <laughs> so, brother Branham, one hundred and thirty words. I said, Oh God, have mercy on my brother. I said, If that serpent ever strikes him, it will kill him. And just then the serpent turned to me. And I said that. And, and looked again and a voice came from above and said you have been, you have been given power it was not being given him there it, it was given him already you know we spoke of Esther 
Esther had the power. Esther Simba. But she didn't know that she had power. She was put in a corner. And she realized she was a powerful woman. Until she was supposed to be given half of the kingdom of God. Imagine such power. It was lying dominant. It was lying dormant. In Esther. Until Esther relaxed. So Brother Branham is being told by the voice. You have been given power to bind him. The West or any. Or any. Praise the Lord. I thought that these people are going to jubilate on this. Brother Victor, these people are quiet. <laughs> The voice said, You have been given power to bind him. The West or any. The power he was given already. And I said, Well, God, what must I do? Listen very carefully. He said, there is one thing you must do. You must be more sincere. See, you must be more sincere. So the, the spoken word you have been given. But it's not, it seems like it's not working for you. Am I talking to anybody? It seems like it's not working. You have got the spoken word. Spoken word it's powerful. You hear ministers saying it's powerful. But you want it to work for you. You want it to work for your children. You have heard. But you want to experience it. Here is the, the, the antidote. He said, there is one thing you must do. You, you must be more sincere. You must be more sincere. You see, sister. Let's read. I said, well, God, forgive me for my insincerity. This man was very humble. Because you wanted, you know, when you are now approaching the third pool, you must be very humble. You must not be puffed up. The glory must be his. Don't take the glory upon yourself. And this man said, Lord, forgive me for my insincerity. And let me have sincerity. And when I raised up my hands to him again, there was a great something that came over me. Just lifted me up. Seemed like that my whole body was charged with something. Brother, there was the, it was a moment in which something just took over Brother Branham. It's not, it's, it was not happening on, on, on a daily basis. No, brother. No, it, 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 it was this moment when a mamba had come on the highway and it was a narrow way there was no way to run to until brother Branham said it was something that came over me and it took over and his body was now charged I feel this is the moment where a man can speak. <laughs> and not in a long way, Munupano Gunaptaura. When his child can achieve a pure simba. Imagine we read of Joshua. And the right having a Joshua. When he was fighting, Paganga Chirwa, and the time was not on his side. Guva Yam Pereira, the man was now put in the corner. Murumo Yapinda Pakamanikan. Until something took over. Nakarachi Machin Shakambat. And he said, Bovat, sun stands still. Zuamira Pap. And the voice of a man. Zuna is going to moon. It to cause nature to obey. 
And I looked at the serpent. And then he started towards me. And he couldn't do it. Yet I said. Satan. Satan. In the name of Jesus Christ. I bind you. And the serpent. A blue smoke flew out of him. And he curled up and made that sign like an S, capital S. Backwards and an end sign. And, and, and means bind this one or anything below him. And the blue smoke fell out of him. And his tail choked his own self. To death around his head. When he made this backwards a sign, like a conjunction, choked it to death. And the brother was free. So the brother. For him to be free, he needed a man who was fully charged up. Brother, it's not an issue for you to just say, uh, receive the reins when I say I don't have reins in the field. Mm, brother, it takes sincerity. The reason why, after the ministers had stood in the river Jordan. You know, carry bearing the ark. When they entered in the promised land, the pillar of fire was not seen. The pillar of cloud was not seen. Brother Branham said it was, it was hidden in a man. The reason why you find Caleb, he was 80 years old. That's like the age maybe you close to Brother Bizai. But when they entered in the promised land, it was time for speaking. It was no longer time for crying. It was no longer time to cry for, to Moses. No, they were now fully empowered. They had the power already. So Caleb realized this. And he cried out. He said, give me my mountain. And what did Joshua say? He said, I give you. You see? It was now the third pool in full operation. But the pillar of fire was nowhere to be seen. The pillar of fire, the pillar of cloud was nowhere to be seen. Because it seemed as if it disappeared in the wilderness. But did it disappear? No, sir. It was with them. Remember, he said, I shall be with you. Even to the end. So he was there. But it was now time for a believer. It was now time for a man who has dedicated his life to Christ. And Caleb was a type of a believer. A gentle believer. Who had believed the message of Moses. He had taken the message of Moses. Seriously. Until he said, I'm now 80. I was 40 when you promised. But I have never, I've never changed. And I ordered, give me my mountain. And he was given his mountain. Hallelujah. It was speaking time. Hallelujah. Amen. So the third part of the journey was left to the bride. It was left to the bride. But for you to enter into this third pool, you must be sincere. I see sitting where you tamba change, brother. It's not time uh, to play change. It's not time for correction. We have gone past two two thirds. 
Tato famba zina no zuri, Brother Branham went zingani. on to be with the Lord And he left the message of the hour with us We have got the ark of the Lord And now is the moment For us to know who we are We cannot be defeated brother sister It is not time for us to look at the conditions of the world Can I shock you a bit You know the drought that's happening out there in the world is being done to push you because you are eating too much. And you are not going to stop the program of God. Whether you are less, you don't want to pray. Whether you don't want to do the ordinances But the gospel will be preached anyhow And believers will believe anyhow Praise the Lord You still remember Brother Branham says When God visited Abraham When when he visited Abraham, he Abraham took the board of flesh. God took the board of flesh. The reason why he said as it was in the days of Lot. Because God knew fully well that in the days of Lot for him to visit Abraham he needed a board of flesh. So he walked on two feet with a borrowed board because God is spirit. So he needed a board. So God with spirit had to borrow a board in this end time. And when he came in that body that was the great angel people are looking for Michael are looking Michael. for Gabriel they are looking Gabriel. for all the angels but rather we have been visited by an angel but he borrowed a body and he came in this end time to reveal the bride of the Lord Jesus Christ. The reason why we are quoting this quotation. And just then, paragraph 71. And voice came, down, came again and said, You can unbind him. Hey. Hey. This is such a great power. Hey? You can bind him. You can unbind him. Hey. Ha. Yeah, I like this one. So I said, then Satan, Satan, that I might know, I unbind you. And when it did, he started coming to life again. Brother, this man is binding Satan. And this man was standing on two legs. And he is binding Satan. Brother, you don't need to be you have to have muscles. You don't need to be a great name. But you know you need to be a believer of the things that I'm preaching to you. The power to bind the man. The power to unbind the man. So simple. Check. And when it did, he started coming to life again. Wiggling. And I said, I bind you back in the name of Jesus Christ. And when it did, the smoke flew out again out of him. And he choked himself right back again and came to Christ. Talk. And then when he did that, that voice said, now you must be more sincere. After binding and unbinding, the voice came and said, now you must be more sincere. Brother, don't worry, sincere it comes. I know some are saying, how are we going to be sincere? Don't worry. 
Joseph didn't know how he was going to be sincere. Joseph Though he had a vision. But one day he was now thrown by his own brothers. Brother, I don't know what happened. Maybe God just created those men for day for Joseph. And zero to Saka Pase, but I'm not going to see you. I don't know what happened. Where they were heading their ship, and zero to Saka Pase, but there were those merchants that came there. Ah, who were buying slaves. Brother, all of a sudden, you are thinking about the thing we can we, brother, you know, those merchants that buy slaves can arrive. Bless you out, this man. Ah, because of a vision. So so if you, you know. believe the message of the hour, and you want, you don't want to be more sincere. Don't worry, my brother. God is to cause you to be sincere. Whether you like it or not. Brother, if you Joseph, you don't want to Joseph might have been crying upon the camel. So things are now difficult. I don't even know where I am going. I don't even know what my life will be. But the angel of the Lord was looking at him. And he said, And he was saying, Why are you crying? Nothing is going to change because of a vision. Because of a vision. Then it left me. And I was standing in the room. So I want you to watch this one. A few moments. I heard a clock go off. And my wife had uh, getting up and the children, you know how it is. I guess to your house, one you know what I'm going to, to, to wear today? Mama that, mama this. When I put my books, and what did I do? You know, you just like any home, you can't hear yourself think hardly for all of them trying to get ready at once. Brother, if you have got a matter that you want God to solve, you don't need to solve it, you know, where there is noise. If you are desperate, brother, you know, desperation is a gear. And this one is a forward one. Because you don't need to go back. So you, when you get into the mode of desperation, it throws you into sincerity. So you, don't, you don't need to be disturbed. It's the moment you need to be alone. That's what Brother Branham is saying. This is not just a, a kind of a prayer that is like a desert. Uh, it's not a public prayer for you to be heard. It's not a public prayer for you to be heard. It's not a public prayer for you to be heard. Uh, this a kind of prayer has got some mess. You cry. You groan. You are hungry, you are fasting. When you are in trouble, when those issues of your adultery is upon you, it's a gear of desperation. Get into the desperate Don't gear. look back. Because desperation will throw you into sincerity. When you are in there, then all things are possible. When you are in there, all things are possible. Brother Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they got into a moment of desperation. They had stood with, with their God. And it was time for trial. Brother, this trial was na, 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 nothing less than death. By fire. He did seven times. So they got into a moment of desperation. And they said there is no going back. When they were now in that moment of desperation, they became more sincere. Until their sincerity brought that something. 
Kwa chimwe chinu that something came down chinu because of a sincere, a sincere heart hallelujah Play, blessed be the name of the Lord and so I slipped off he's going where listen off into the den room pastor the pastor was uh, uh, preaching about the little closet. closet. And this man is now looking for a closet. And I got down on my knees. And I said, Lord, Jesus, Jesus, I don't know these things. These things, the third book. I don't know it. And And what must I do? We and the children will be calling me to take them out to school in a few moments. What must I do? do it. And I looked around. And my Bible was laying there. And I said, Lord, if you will forgive me, I do not believe in just opening up the scripture and taking something out of the Bible and saying that. But there is times that when God can comfort you by such a thing. And I said, Lord, in this case of emergency, right now, before your spirit leaves me, and I don't know what to do, the kids will be in our heads. Before they will be gone, would you just show me? Would you show me where you are going? Would you just show me where you are going? trying to get to, to get me heavenly father and let me know brother God answers prayer brother we believe in a God that answers prayer he is not a God an object a grotto or something remember he is a living God he responds to a sincere heart brother this God answers prayer brother he answers prayer he knows how to answer prayer he knows how to provide he is a, a serious God praise the Lord and I took this Bible just, just put it open just like that and my thumb was laying at 1st Corinthians the 5th chapter the 8th verse verse 8 when something reads like this when you come I was planning to take a fast to the, a fast to the Lord I told him I told him I would go out and fast. And the Bible says, when you come to this feast, which a fast in the body is a feast with the Lord. When last did you fast? I told you you are eating too much. There is so much rice in the cabinets at home. Chicken, chicken, a lot of chicken and stuff. My lying. And is that it? I'm not lying. The food is abandoned. So then the third pool is going to set up, set up, set up. The pastor will sweat it out. But there's a time you need the third pool. Because the time it draweth nigh. All these cars will be just vanity. Uh, for you to uh, buy petrol it means you would have received either the mark of the beast uh, you would have joined the war domes of Jezebel the war domes of Jezebel 
And in that moment you need to be sincere. Mungu wa yoyo no tona utu perere. Praise the Lord. Mwari varo mbizu. You need a fast in the body and a fast in the body is a feast with the Lord. We know that. So when you come to this feast, don't come with old leaven. Or the leaven of malice and so forth. But come with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Just exactly what he told me. Chaiso. Come, God is my solemn child. Come with the unleavened bread. Of sincerity. Of sincerity. That is the word. Hallelujah. Amen. Right. I want to read. You will find when Brother Branham uh, finished this one. That's Brother when Branham. he says, I found myself in the woods. Where the squirrels were created. So you see, it's the very same power. The same power that had to bind the mamba. Is the same power that created the squirrels. It's the same power that came down in Sister Hetty Rice's It's the same power that spoke to the bull. But it was not something that was cranked no. into. I have circumstances. There were circumstances. I that had mode. caused him to get into the desperate mode. But for you also to overcome, you need to be sincere. If you are not sincere, then your problems will become perennial. Year in, year out. You are facing the same challenge. Year in, year out. You are in the Guinness Book of Records. Uri Guinness Book of Records. For committing a doubter. While he's putting in a long dress. Hey, don't know the name. And it's very good. paradox and is in the negative side can we call it a paradox that a brother Kutihama. holding a spoken word he, a spoken word. he, he, he fails to, 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 to despise the shame he calls to commit adultery and yet later on a minister and he comes to preach no wonder why the mamba is on the highway she because people are not serious. People are not serious at all. If you want to see that, they are not serious. They are not yet with windows. They have passed six. They have passed six. He walks like a, you know that big baboon. Doesn't care it's a big truck. You know it can be run over by a truck when it puffs itself up. You know as it puffs itself up. It's half past. Half past. You are the one who's late. God is not late. He's being preached about. They will be discussing and you issues. Tell me, are they going to be sincere? If they cannot be sincere in just coming to service to worship their God, then you expect them to be sincere. Ah, brother, Ama. that's not it. And so. We must be sincere. This God demands our worship. Hallelujah. Amen. So brother, it's time we must forgive one another. It's time we must, we must, not, we must not have any malice. Are we together? Brother, I have a question for you. I have a question for you. Uh, you know, no matter what disturbs you, uh, how are you disturbed? To which extent that makes you to unchristianize yourself? Is it that your debt has not been paid? So if somebody borrows from you, it doesn't mean that uh, you unchristianize yourself. What's the problem, sister? What made you not 
to be a Christian. Just because another sister is wearing a new dress. Do you know how many new things are going on? Today it's new, tomorrow it's old. Tomorrow it's a renovator. It's, it's, it's what causes malice between, you know, you know, for us how can a believer have an enemy how can you have an enemy so are you going to pray because if you read Romans chapter 10 you know, chapter 12 you know, forgive your enemy you can go and give them food you can go and give them food amen if you want to be a Christian but if you are not a Christian you can do anything but a Christian I don't know what you are doing can pray for their own enemies and take groceries to them and give them water you have placed coals under his feet but we have got Christians that are so rough uh, so, I just takes chickens. How can a brother fail to forgive another brother? How can a brother persecute another brother? How is it possible? Brother, brother Then we say, ah, I don't see eye to eye with brother Bizai. Ah, brother. Uh, uh, what's the matter? What kind of a sin can he commit? Even if he has gone back, his house is my house. When I get to his house, I won't talk about his backsliding, but I will talk about those issues that will persuade him to come back to the Lord. Isn't that so? How can a brother hate another brother? Do you know what he's going through? If you're not closer to him. The one you think he shows off. Ah, you know, he will tell you some parents. you help that brother to pray. Because you help your brother to bind this mamba. It's time for brotherly kindness. We must take care of our own. For us to enjoy this third book. Otherwise, there will be no third book for us. Praise the Lord. Are we together? Are we together? This is the time. But at this point, passport. But we are not giving a passport for a brother to backslide. There is no time for you to backslide. There is no room for that. Why would you go back? Why, brother, would you want to go back? Just because of Jezebel. Of a person with painted lips. Ah, brother. brother. Painted lips. They are naked. I know they are weak. This one is weak. We thought that is uh, not the weakest. You are fortified, but we are realizing that ah, you must not be the weakest, brother. Because we have for the spoken word. You must be the strongest. Amen. Amen. You must feel pity for these ones that are anointed of the spirit of Atalia. Uh, of Ahola and Aholiba. You know what kind of spirit is that? Uh, they are young sisters not yet married. May you raise your hands. Uh, when they get into their homes, when they get married, they are tatters. A 
And that spirit comes from Jezebel. They don't want to be married as virgins. They want to get into the home. Uh, my sister, it's not good for you to get into your home in such a mood. Reason why you see we have this cake here. As we close. Reason why I talked about that. It's just good to get married in a proper way. Especially if you have ever received the that's message of that. That's my prayer because I have got daughters also. I expect them also to respect the message of that. I expect them also to respect the message of that. And for them not to elope. Uh, for them not to have such kind of names uh, we had their mystery mother who allowed them to go and commit adultery with whosoever it's a very bad thing we must all come to perfection but no fumble of man holy uh, holy. When we holy. walk, it will be saying holy, holy unto the most high. But no, in the post, it will holy. Wherever holy. we go, it holy. will be holy, holy unto the most high. Uh, not only in this place, but out there. In the society, you are known, brother. More than how you are known here. Uh, you, the trustees, they don't know but your name. The, 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 <laughs> the receipts <laughs> from the Lord will be written. John who entered this place, not with his wife, but with a concubine, with a so girlfriend. Pathetic. And it's happening because of a mamba in the highway. So we must brace up. Because the times that we are living are so if. They are so if. To the extent that we lose our beloved one. But we need to stand up. To. And bind this mamba. And we need to be sincere. We need to forsake all other things. All our differences. And come to a level to where we become all the bride of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. Very important things have been mentioned tonight. I hope you want this relationship with God. Because you have now covered two thirds of the journey. Now it requires sincerity and a lot of seclusion and prayer. Let us pray.
Gracious Heavenly Father, yeah, again we bow before your throne of blessings. We want to thank you for this preparation of what and how we must do it in this area of the two thirds of the journey. We want to thank you for this bride that must fulfill the third part. She has been given again tips to go about it. Help us, Father God, to always know what to do, how to come in and how to go out. Thank you for these characters that were being discussed. Thank you also for the minister setting himself aside and the things he has continuously repeated before us. We pray, Father God, that they find space in our hearts. We you want to take for us tonight. Thanking you also for this time we are getting in Jesus name Amen. Amen Praise the Lord Coincidentally Brother Bepeta preaches tonight uh, preached tonight Zino mkuitika ukwazo Brother Bepeta wa pariza manerana as is also quite a close buddy to Brother Simba Mfumi Isha Marie Pejgo na Brother Simba they work together. He was preaching to his in-laws. Because when Simba was uh, going to marry, Bepete was a part of the entourage. So there was a lot of things in common on the two sides. I don't know for those things to happen, does it need to break my leg for me to ask Brother <laughs> Bebete to preach as a servant on a day like today? And Brother God's ways are past finding out. Praise the Lord. I really want to welcome the visitors we have tonight. Simba. Simba. You are surrounded by people who look like you or uh, you, look, you look like today. That man and that woman they really resemble you. Praise the Lord. I want to guess it's your father and your mother. And they are with you today to support you through and through. I want to say to them, all you have been teaching your boy, it's being reflected tonight. Before, before this whole crowd. It was, if it was something shameful, you were not going to come here. You were just going to say, let's get inside, let's talk. But today, it's your coronation day. Uh, Praise the Lord. Yes. You know, every child that is successful is anyone's child. Everybody wants to be identified with them. But a robber and a thief even the mother does not want to be identified. Praise the Lord. We are so happy for this woman, for that man. They've done it, they've made it. Praise the Lord. Are we together? And all those people who have come also representing Simba. Uh, I know Simba to be a very sincere person. Simba Once he sees something, he wants to measure up with it. Do you think you can come forward, Simba? Where is your father? Where is your mother? Let them learn to come with you. Praise the Lord. 
Ah, uh, Simba, you are in a very beautiful suit. Simba, you are in a suit. Yeah, just stand there. Praise the Lord. God is wonderful. This woman deserves to be standing where she is standing today. Praise the Lord. God has helped her. That man deserves to be standing there. Praise the Lord. Where is Lizzie? Lizzie. Where is standing with Lizzie? Please come here. The but I, I want also brother, 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 brother Mike to come here. I and and his brother Mike. Wife. Come here, Lizzie. We are Keep me true. Keep me true. Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Just stand there. Keep me true. Lord Jesus, keep me true. There is a race that I must run. There are victories to be won. Give me power every Brothers, Ama. listen to my sentiments. Many women, no matter educated or not educated, they see marriage or motherhood as their destiny. Most women, would choose to, would choose to become mother at some point there are so many birth control systems and strategies put in place to avoid pregnancies but women bypass all these in order to embrace their own child that decision is unique and brings about a very personal fulfillment in every woman. When she has a child, she feels her destiny as an adult confirmed. Having a child of her own proves her womanliness because from her earliest years she has been trained to assume the role of a mother. There are stories a girl has heard and the games she has played the textbooks she has read and the religion she has been taught the TV that she has watched all socialized her for a mother role. Zino mitambo ya vano tamba maumbu inezo wakasi ya nasiana tumapuku tukwa vano verenga vaskana hava zwa vano una pama TV inezo wakasi ya nasiana zose zunenge zingo varadi za ukoshkwa ukuba mai When deprived of their role the woman feels deep pain and anguish Whatever the reason, most women choose to experience motherhood. Economies, post difficulties, make it hard for women to embrace these thoughts but it is deeply embedded in all women. Today we look at a girl. 
Who came to us seeking the hand of the Lord in her life because of her uncle here who was very loving and very inclusive. This little girl she's just a miracle to me. The parents were not there but the uncles and the, the relatives took care of this little girl. Now she stands as a beacon before us all. Came a little bit into this message late. But she was a great racer. Praise the Lord. She managed to fit in a number, a number of things until she even proved to be marriage materials. The Lord showed a miracle. Her tummy had problems all the time. But the Lord healed her. And it was a sign for her that she must follow this message. I want to say thank you, Brother Mike. Together with your wife. I know you uh, to be in this case quite a lot. And this Mr. Ndasekwa. We want to also say thank you. Uh, thank you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, it's an honorable thing uh, for a girl to stand especially in a moment like this and take engagement vows it's quite an honorable thing praise the Lord I want to say this again we take for instance the marriage for union. We find out that the marriage, we find that courtship and agreements and then the marriage. Then it should settle it for the for, 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 for the time. That stick of mine there. Now that's the same thing it is with Christ and the church. See a courtship. God calling to our hearts. We could surrender. The marriage, the ceremony. The bride takes the groom's name. There it is. Amazona. That makes the bride. Now always the bride takes the groom's name. Praise the Lord. Amen. So here is what we are seeing. I want to remind these two. That this thing that they are making a promise to one another also happened to Jephthah at one time. Words that you speak to each other God does not take them lightly. God is just going to make events come around in order for you to prove them. I want to say to Simba You must be a man of your word Just like your father was a man of his word I want to say to Lizzie as well Respect what you answer to Praise the Lord These things that we Courting, we, 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 we are calling engagement. Uh, engagement. We see also Joseph in the Bible. Before he got married to Mary, he was espoused. 
So this is exactly the same thing that we are getting into. And we, pl we get into it with a lot of cleanness. There was good conduct from Simba's side and Lizzie's side. When a young man is going to get a young woman woman to get married to a young woman he must know the character of this young woman or the young woman must know the character of the young man something she could hold will this man be a just man will he make me the right type of husband will this man give to me in life what I expect out of her? will this woman give me in life what I expect out of her your loyalty and so forth and then it's got to be some way that they can pass their vows then knowing that there is something that will hold and that's the reason we bring them to the church and to the word of God to get this absolute time and uh, another place listen when a man marries a wife he does him he doesn't trust in her beauty no zvino murume panoro ra mudzimai ruvimbo rwake haru zorodzi murunako kwemudzimai uyu he trusts in in the loyalty of her vow as her word as ruvimbo rwake anoruzorodza pakutaura kwake kwekutindeseka he doesn't trust in her beauty he trusts in her loyalty. And that's the way when you marry married to God, you don't trust in some big beautiful church you can build, but in the promise that Jesus made that I'm the same yesterday, today and forever. Do you believe that? Now it's a serious thing when we go to choose a wife, a man for the vows here is until death do we part. That's how we should keep it. And you take that vow before God that only death will separate you. And I think we should. Man in his right mind uh, that's planning a future that he should choose that wife very careful. Be careful what you're doing. And a woman choosing a husband accepting the choice of a husband should be real careful what she is doing especially in these days should a woman a man should think and pray before he chooses a wife and I think today that's what got so many divorce cases now and that will lead the world in America in divorce cases we lead the rest of the world and there is more divorces here than anywhere else this nation that's supposed to be thought of a Christian nation what a reproach our divorce courts I think the reason of it is because that man has got away from God and women has got away from God. And we find that if a man prayed and a woman prayed over the matter, not just look at them set of pretty eyes, 
or big strong shoulders or such as that some other worldly affection but would look up would look first to god and say god is this your plan zino a kana umuno asiri kutarisa pachimiro chemunhu kuna kakwake uso wakanaka kana mafudzi akadaro nezvakadaro asi munhu akatarisa kuna mwari onama ata kuti mwari ndiko here kuda kwenyu uku muzvinhu zvanda akupinda mazviri when we are getting into an engagement zvino patinenge tichipinda mu engagement uh, we are not marrying children or we are not engaging children apa hatizi kubatanidza vachine mukaka pamuno simba is a mature person simba munhu abvazera these things concerning marriage zvino izvi zviri mairirano ne wanano much as the parents are here to support him sezvo zviriwo kuti vabereki vari pano kumutsigira but this must be his decision not his mother's decision or his father's decision asi i inofana kunge iri sarudzo yake iye pachake kwete sarudzo ya baba vake kana mai vake the same for this little girl as well zvimwe cheteo nemusikana uye ari panapo but however according to numbers 30 asi zvisine hazvo mairirana na numeri 30 no matter how grown up a woman is sine nekuti mudzimai abvazera zvakadi she always needs somebody anotoda mumwe munhu to stand for her anomumiririra pasarudzo dzake reason why we see this man chikonzero tiri kuona murume uyo ari pano is here to uh, to hear the vows of this little girl ari pano kuzonzwa miko dzichatorwa nemusikana osho sekuru sekuru ndiyana vanonzani eh eh mukoma joseph muri kuirana iri nyaya kuti toti do you agree with this issue that it goes on God bless you. Kana chimirana chimira ipa tuze zvenyu nevamwe venyu. Ah uh, if you agree you can stand together with uh, the Yeah. MMH. Can you come over this side? Joseph. Eh ndian Simba. Simba. Chiu yaka kuno kuti tezvo basa. Or stand over this side also. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Tinamate. Gracious heavenly Father. The power of predestination is being played out here. The power Father God of acting out out of scripture, out of the plan of God is being played out here. What you have known before the foundation of the world is being played out here. A generation is going to be made up out of this. We want to approach this Father God with all solemnness. May you undertake for us. Help Simba, help Lizzie here. Thank you for their lives. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Uh, Lizzie. Lizzie. Face to face with Simba. Face to face na Simba. Side is. Ah, it's okay. Praise the Lord. Uh, just forgive me struggling with a bit of my leg here but things will be okay. Uh, bear with me. Saga Saturday originally was to be a full time full time. Saturday will be having the whole day. Praise the Lord. Amen. Simba you must repeat after me. Simba udzokurudza mashoko aya. Sir. Sedera so, paduze Simba yakona kutya. Simba. <laughs> uh, 
Kaki to se marriage ka ja reserve brother and sister is. Yeah. I want you to talk to this girl. Wagam tatsa maswaki. Ustaura Mike. Yo wagam tatsa maswaki. This way. Osia 2919. Osia 2 verse 19. Simba is saying, That's fine. And I will betroth thee unto me forever. Yeah, I will betroth thee unto me in righteousness. And in judgment. And in loving kindness. We And in mercies. Nemunyasha Zamari. I will even betroth thee unto me in faithfulness. And thou shalt know the Lord. This is what the scripture says. Ah, okay. You are to Pesaka. Praise the Lord. Shipai Mike Kuna Brada. Mskana. Uno for my recumirida. Sesha Tower one um comano. Do you accept to wait like what this brother is saying? If it is like that, then she's going to answer yes. Acha pindurao. Ong. Praise the Lord. Simba. Simba. Do you have any token? That this vow is going to be kept. You got a ring. Une ring. Fine. Take it. Itori. Yes. Place it in the right finger. Oisa Isn't this wonderful? My Simba, what you packet, what The mother, to this boy, watching his son do such. This problem. Don't bring uh, problems, eh? but blessings only. That's what we do. You see how we are kind of cry out on such issues and stuff. Uh, it brings us good results. You can face the crowd. Can I have a 
boys. If you thought that uh, may per adventure, you know, there was going to be some luck here. This girl is gone. You can lift up your hand. Girls. Brother Simba watu taura mamu mashoko kuna umwa miskana. Brother Simba watu vakutawara mamu mashoko. Izi izi kuna miskana uri. Brother Simba. Brother Simba. Itaya kwa askana wese bye bye. To all the girls. Tonan. Praise the Lord. Marvaro mbizu. Tuda kuwana matir. As we pray for them. Can you hold one another's hand? Ambe Zingre shall always be my song of praise. Gracious Heavenly Father, Baba Vedenga, we may be feeble in this flesh but not in the scriptures. Lord Jesus, your word standeth sure. It's the one uniting this little girl and this little man. I want to thank you for this engagement. What a promise this boy is taking. He has stood out of the crowd to show his position and his desire. The same for this girl, O oh Lord. You are a witness to this, O oh my Father. The whole congregation is witness to May you undertake for them. Give them grace to keep these vows. We want to commit them into your hands. Even their wedding day on, Ma, on, on Saturday. May it all be in your hands. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes, we go to the next segment. Uh, sister Lizzie. Stand there. Together with Brother Simba. Do you think you can be opened? This new place, um, which we are still fighting to finish to build, Simba and Lizzie are the first. Simba and Lizzie, Am I right? Dizu. Can we clap hands for that?
light. Watch them. This cake is just a spice into this engagement. It's not really a requirement that when you engage, you must bring a cake. Because now there are a lot of things. Some of them, uh, they are just putting the people in the corner. Just do simple things. It's, it, the best is to do the scriptures this man was talking about. Uh, Praise the Lord. No, no, I just said, After doing all that, you're paying your tithes. Don't you see that you are kind of. All right. By our neighbor, I will. Right. Which to check a cake is to talk to Dr. Bayer. I will check to find. Such a check. I check. I assist. Food, peace. Wanda se kwa murkona. Because you, you see, it is going to go see. I will. This girl is leaving your place. If you see her cutting cakes over here, she's gone. She's gone. Check a two mapis. I know manage a quiz. I'm wrong. She's cut out two cakes that are manageable. We want to uh, witness out here. Am I Simba? Our brother Simba. Can I matum chachenge ta vow yet na yapana? If you are saying you need to keep this vow, chitora i cake. You can pick up a cake. What a bizam scan. Hand it over to this girl. Scana kana hati da kugam chira. If uh, the girl is saying she's accepting that uh, promise you made. Ah. Uh, you must uh, really partake it in our presence. Let's. Right. Sisi, Praise the Lord. Food. Can I get a cake? I I I Each gama cake up and get 
partake of cakes, you know, just uh, before huh? the crowd, you know. Ah, uh, Can you appreciate this guy? Amen. Uh, do you see this? Where can we go with the fire burning in the home? Praise the Lord. Amen. Tiwono utu mkoma nanu mfumaere Kana utaru mko tinyengera Mupi o keki tuwa mutano Richtaere pambiru Procate the same Ya Simba Uka mchiri Saori o nuchari mwoye Rarese wandemu Sasa ita kacha kacha Kuchiko msoja you see, Mama, what Simba is doing here? Simba is doing here. 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 This is what we were teaching. Look and see what we have done. On Saturday, we will be putting on suits. Uh, you know, he will be wedding in a style. He has taken the cake before all the, this congregation. Praise the Lord. Are there teams to help him, uh, uh, to help the sister? Just cut that cake and maybe give it to the rest. Or oh, is that what you want? And also, Without Lord, it, what do you want to do with this yeah. cake? Yeah, praise the Lord. Amen. Those that just uh, you know help out. But uh, just, uh, let me close out as the cake is being distributed. As you know, cake which goerwa. Last remark here. Still, was almost a pet sila panapa. Jeremiah 44, 25. Jeremiah 44, verse 25. Thus says the Lord of, Lord, Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, saying, You and your wives have both spoken with your mouths and fulfilled with your hand, saying, we will surely perform our vows that we have vowed. You will surely accomplish your vows and surely perform your vows. Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, these two little people here, we confront them with a lot of scripture even heavy scripture you require performance out of what they have said I commit Simba into your hands the same for Lizzie it's new ground they are getting into I pray Father God that you hold their hands may you undertake for these vows thank you for both their parents may you undertake for them as well bring us back here on Saturday and help us Father God to wait them in Jesus name Amen. Amen God bless you uh, it's like cake.
Partake of the cake uh, until we meet on Friday. Uh, God bless you. God bless you so much. Say, Mama. Mama. With all the entourage you came with, look and see what your son has done. Are online he is posted online yeah. right now. He's watched all over the world. Uh, the Ndasekwas, we want you to change your surname. It must be called uh, I have been honored. Praise the Lord. Because, because there's nothing to laugh against here. You can see what your daughter has done for you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's one of the girls that told me. I never wasted myself. I never wasted myself. I want serious arrangements when it comes to marriage. And here is a serious arrangement. Alright. I just always must have come. I'm not going to say a lot of things. I'm not going to say a lot of things. Praise the Lord. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. 